treasures with your gaming archaeologist, Sid Bolton. One of the most fondly remembered video games from the 8-bit computer era was Jumpman from Epix. Although you might remember that one quite easily, there's another game that came out just a little bit later called Wizard that was similar in some ways, but also arguably better in others. The Wizard is definitely not as well known as Jumpman, so it definitely qualifies as a lost treasure. Developed by Sean A. Moore, a science fiction writer and computer programmer, and Stephen Lutters from Colorado, Wizard has a main objective of obtaining a key that would let you unlock and progress to the next level. The game has often been compared to Jumpman because of the similar graphics and animations, although the games do differ in many ways. The original programmers have stated that the similarities are a coincidence and that they also felt the game would have done better had it been released before Jumpman instead of after. There are 40 levels in this game, compared to only 30 in Jumpman, and an updated release called Ultimate Wizard actually shipped with 100 levels and a level editor. Ultimately, the game did not do as well as hoped, and the game never turned into a franchise, even with the backing of Electronic Arts and the contributions made by Paul Reich III, who made Archon and the original Skylanders, among other things. If you like Jumpman and are looking for a platforming game with lots of great moves and exciting levels, Wizard may be just the ticket for you. You can play it via emulation today, or a good old Commodore 64, if you still happen to have one kicking around, of course. Until next time, I'm Sid Bolton, your gaming archaeologist, digging up the lost treasures for you, right here on OMG Nexus and the OMG Hour. This has been an OMGNexus.com production.